What's going on guys, Tee Blake here, and today we are unboxing the Mutant Ape Yacht Club merchandise collection. Now, I picked up a ton of different pieces, many for Equity Partners in my Discord. If you have not checked that out, there's a link down below in the description. But since the release, I've heard a lot of comments on Instagram, a lot of comments on Twitter about people debating the quality of the merch. And given my experience buying, selling clothing, designing clothing, doing manufacturing, I wanted to give an honest review both on the designs and the overall quality of the merch and give you an opportunity to check out some of the merchandise itself. Before we get into all that, I want to just make sure that you guys know one of these items, this Mutant Ape Yacht Club a snapback hat will be available for a giveaway. Just drop a comment down below uh, underneath this video and I will reach back out to one of you guys uh, randomly to get your shipping information. So this snapback little preview of what's to come, but up for grabs uh, should you choose to participate. Now, NFT is obviously buzzword beaten to death by now. Um, one of the applications that I've been most uh, interested since I've learned about the technology is ticketing. Uh, so having a ticket that serves as your access into an event that's trackable, traceable to you, helps with counterfeits, that sort of thing. That is a use case that I thought we'd see now. Right now, it's a lot of PFPs, picture for proof, uh, you know, concepts, Board Ape Yacht Club, you and Yacht Club being one of the top ones right now. So for the case of this release, uh, you had your token, which unlocked a Shopify page for you to be able to buy some of the items. Now this release was done exclusively in ApeCoin, which at the time of the drop was about five to six dollars a coin. It went as high as twenty-seven dollars a coin. It's right back to the six and seven point. So that's sinking in for some people. Uh, for me, luckily, I swapped dollars for ApeCoin on the same day, so one to one. So it wasn't stuff. You know, I, I wasn't spending coins that I was planning on selling so I can sleep fine at night uh, knowing that I like didn't tap, you know, I'm not paying $500 for any of these hoodies, but for some people that is a very real reality. So token gated, got it, exclusive holder, got it. Took a little while to ship. Yes, it did. There's a couple items that I'm still waiting on. So we'll see whether or not those arrive in time. A lot of people are trying to get this merch in for an event in New York City. That's June 20th to 24th. So expect to see this a lot out in the city, whether or not you're in the NFT space or not, this merch you'll definitely uh, see around if you are in the city during that time. So one of the great upgrades uh, from last time, which was definitely sorely lacking, was they went all out with some of the packaging. Now the collection sp split into two parts, Board Ape, Mutant Ape. I'm assuming for Board Ape, the packaging looked a little bit different. I can only speak to what I've unboxed here. I'm gonna try to pull up a photo. Uh, I'm sure someone on Twitter has posted it. Inside, we're also seeing stickers. You got this holographic Yuga Labs and then the Board to Death, which was featured on the Board Ape Yacht Club merchandise. Both of these are stickers. Uh, there was also a sticker that had a little Mutant Ape Yacht Club, but I put that on my car. I'll show you a photo of that right now. So first up, we have the Snapback. This is the one that we are giving away. Not too much to say about this. You've got the logo on the back. And then the Drink It, of course, referring to the serums that apes drink to become mutants. Uh, now this Snapback manufacturer I'm actually familiar with. These are gonna either be made um, in Korea or Bangladesh. Wow, look at that, Bangladesh. That would have been a little embarrassing. But the acrylic wool blend is actually pretty good, which means that this is gonna be a hat that's gonna kind of take the elements a little bit better. Where it's manufactured does not necessarily, um, you know, uh, speaks to quality. Sure, there's a lot of brands that have an established name that you they could have collaborated with that might have, you know, added a little bit of oomph uh, to unboxing this. This could have very easily have been a new era sticker doing customer team product. But I imagine given the time restraints and the global supply chain uh, crises, this is the best they could do. And I don't think there's any issue with this. The embroider on the inside is actually done really, really well. Sometimes you'll notice with embroidery, you see how they haven't cut out the D there. There's still the little piece. Um, sometimes the whole thing will have that little cloth there and that's like a little shoddy quality. So honestly, the snapback hat quality is really good. And again, I'll show you guys the pieces that I'm keeping. So everything that's sealed will just speak to, how, you know, the presentation sealed. Even the plastic bags have the Mutant Ape Yacht Club branding on it. You've got a really good SKU and barcode system here. So they've kind of ironed out some of their supply chain stuff. Now I have seen some videos where people have gotten, and also 100% recycled plastic, which is great. Some people got random things inside their boxes. Uh, so I imagine wherever the 3PL, that's the third party logistics provider is shipping these, you know, someone got chocolate bars in their order. Now, whether or not that's like, you know, people just posting and lying on Twitter for clout, I'm not sure. But 
just something to keep in mind where uh, they've clearly thought about scaling and are definitely using a 3PL for these out of uh, California. Next up, packaging for the t-shirts, not too different. We still got the branding there, SKU system here. These are made in Nicaragua and they say machine wash cold, which means that this 100% cotton is probably not pre-shrunk, which means that if you do get these and it fits a little bit too big, you could wash it on warm and it should shrink. Don't get mad at me or quote me on that exactly. Of course, same little deal on the back. All right, so showing you some of the pieces that I like on. Also, shout out to the short shorts. It's been hockey season for quite some time. We've been bulking those lower legs. This is the graffiti t-shirt, one of my favorite designs from the collection. On the back, it features the contract address for minting. That's kind of like a little nerdy thing. Uh, so I don't know how many people are gonna really get that. Uh, outside of the community. The point I was making earlier about the t-shirts is these are definitely not pre-shrunk. I can tell because the uh, fibers of the cotton are still very coarse. So I expect these to shrink and soften up after a few washes. So some people were kind of making uh, knee-jerk reactions to the quality just based on feel before a wash. I would wash these, again, if you wanted to fit a little tighter, which this one definitely could, I will wash it on warm instead of cold, uh, but that would be my best advice for people that are maybe a little iffy about the scratching it. Next up, we'll do a hoodie. So the rest of the things that I'm keeping are all hoodies. I will say that unlike the sublimated tag, these are woven tags. Uh, these are made in China for these hoodies. So this hoodie is the Mutant World hoodie. You've got a little, you know, DNA science logo here. The aglets for the hoodie are really nice. They actually feature a little Mutant Ape kind of lasered into it. Uh, I will say they're quite long. So the hood's fully all the way down and uh, these are coming down right to my, my midriff here. Uh, on the back, uh, the design uh, kind of references the Jordan Peele movie, all the uh, the hands around America. I'll put up a photo and do a better reference for you guys there. I don't know if the shot looks weird, Crouch. Uh, my point in referencing the reference is that, you know, including the college arc for some of the Bory Yacht Club designs, whoever did this particular collection pulled from a lot of elements of streetwear culture, which is something that Supreme does all the time, but their streetwear either you know, rehashing something from popular culture, pulling a reference from it, or in some cases just ripping off an existing logo, twisting a little bit and making it supreme. So I kind of like the collection here and it all kind of has a general cohesiveness. Uh, that being said, the you know death metal kind of inspiration for some of the designs were not for everyone. Uh, that's totally my vibe, so that's my personal bias. Again, trying just to comment on the overall quality. All right, next up, we have the Mutant Slime Hoodie. This is my favorite, and again, you'll notice that these blanks are all the same, so the comments about the aglets are gonna be the same, the weight of all the hoodies are gonna be the same, and they're all manufactured in the same place with the same woven labels. Got it, great, okay. Still lightweight, and again, this design kind of pays homage to, I think, the New York City event that many people were planning. I get Statue of Liberty vibes with the crown there, but this is personally my favorite design from the collection and something that I really like. It kind of has like a, almost like a cannibal corpse vibe. Uh, I'm trying to think of some of the other like band t-shirts I've owned that have that similar styling. So this one, super cool. Okay, last up for the show and tell, this is the M2 Serum hoodie. Now this hoodie is probably the most involved in terms of design. You have the embroidery of the logo here. You have an applique all the way going up the side the various stages of this serum kind of becoming its own little character there. And then on the back, you have the Drink It vibe with the Mutant Ape Yacht Club M2 serum. So the collection is actually split into three parts, M1, M2, M3. This is kind of that piece for people that were M2 holders to kind of have their own little special vibe in the collection. So those are the four pieces that I'm keeping with the collection. So that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you as always for tuning in. And if you are interested in winning one of those snapback hats, just drop a comment down below underneath the description there. Looking forward to making more content for you guys soon. T-Blake signing out. Peace guys.